Hi everybody, Brianne from Pixite here today and I'm going to be coloring um, a picture from our Trailblazers book and I'm going to be coloring Nelson Mandela. Now I always knew a little bit about him. Um, you just kind of hear about these amazing people uh, through word of mouth and uh, history obviously. This is Black History Month so I'm coloring uh, this piece to celebrate um, black history. I did some reading and he was the first South African president and he served from 1994 to 1999 and Mandela also served 27 years in prison. I'm not going to talk too much about um, anything else than that. Just a couple of facts. If you want to read more in depth, look in the internet for any of these individuals. They have remarkable accomplishments and it's so amazing um, for the people that you have heard about but you haven't looked into fully. There's so much that you don't know and it just is very surprising and these people are great and I'm so happy to color uh, this piece to commemorate Black History Month. So all that being said, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna try something a little bit different. I've been looking up different ways to color skin tone and I've seen some great pieces in the gallery and I also get inspired from uh, amazing pieces in the gallery. And I've been looking up just different ways to kind of put together um, skin tone and whatnot. I kind of want to make this look painter-esque or painterly. So I'm going to try something that I actually have never tried before and I'm going to do it with um, oil paints. I'm going to mix and match um, different tones of brown to kind of get a realistic, if not realistic, but just maybe a painterly styled look of uh, for Nelson Mandela here. So hopefully I can do him some justice. Let's get started. I'm going to keep it on freehand and I'm going to start with the darker one. I'm going to leave my opacity all the way up from now, maybe turn it down just a tad. And I'm just going to brush this color. And I'm going to brush different colors. I'm going to grab different ones and I'm going to mix. Mix and match kind of the highlights and just try to get a different kind of look going. I might also use a pencil and uh, airbrush and blender, we'll see. But for now, I just want to get these, these colors in. I don't know if anyone uses uh, oil brush. I do use it a lot, but I've never actually tried uh, using it for uh, skin tone. And I was watching some videos of some painters doing oil skin tones while other stuff as well, but this just kind of caught my eye. And then I also noticed a couple people using it. I think it was oil in the gallery and I thought it looked kind of cool too. I'm just kind of layering these different colors mixing. I hope you guys are enjoying this book. Also, I just want to take a note to mention that this book is free for all users. So you do not have to have premium to color this book, which I think is fantastic. I also uh, actually have Wikipedia open in front of me while I'm coloring him. So I kind of can see some like features that he has and I, I want to do him justice. I want to color him somewhat true to what he um, what he looks like in real life. 
I'm just shading around the eyes. Well, he has passed away. Uh, now I believe I, what I was reading, he passed away in, I don't want to give the wrong date. Oh yeah, okay, it says he was born July 1918th, or 1918, sorry, 1918th, that doesn't make any sense. And he passed away December 2013. I'm trying to do too many things at once, my brain isn't working. Well, it is Monday, so. I'm just gonna kind of get some shades in here. Just kind of mixing and matching in these shades. Oil is also a free tool. So free book, free tool is kind of another reason why I wanted to use um, some tools that were free because the book is free. So that's, that was a little, another kind of inspiration. So I'm not really, I'm just trying to get skin tones where I think there should be variation naturally. Cause skin tone isn't all one color. It's made up of a bunch of different colors, no matter what color your skin is, whether you're African American, white, it, we all have variations in our skin tone. That's why I'm kind of just going through adding these, adding the variations. I'm on freehand mode so I can distribute this without any barriers or boundaries and I'll, then I'll go and touch things up later. I have to color over all that stuff anyway so I'm not too worried about bleeding into it. I'm not going to be making a super um, elaborate background so I'm not too worried about that either. I'm definitely going to be using other tools besides the oil. Some of them will be premium. But I want to show you that you don't need premium to make a beautiful picture or to make a creative picture. I'd like the work that you guys are doing on this book in the gallery is phenomenal. You guys are all coloring these pictures and I just love them. I just went and actually looked through um, to see and you guys are just doing such an amazing job. I'm going to use blur in this for sure. I'm just kind of outlining the creases of his eyes. And I'm also going to do the creases of his forehead. Use a couple different variations of color here for that. I'm 
If you want to make a crease stand out, you do dark on the inside and then you can do a little bit light on the outside and it usually makes the crease stand out nicely. I want to highlight the nose and then bring down the opacity, highlight the cheek a little bit. He does actually in this picture have quite strong highlights on his forehead. So we'll do that. Okay, I'm actually thinking this is coming together. It's looking good. I'm gonna bring down the opacity and the brush size there. Bring the brush size up. Just gonna strengthen some of these highlights just a bit. Make sure that uh, the oil brush is very strong. So make sure that you are kind of playing with your opacities and whatnot. We're going for a real painterly look right now. We'll see if I keep it looking so painterly. It's gonna all come down to um, how this flow happens here. I'm really liking the way that things are blending. Just kind of adding some deeper shadows around the face a little bit here. And I'm using um, actually the brown palette in case anybody's, well, you can kind of can see what it is. I'm gonna add a couple lighter highlights there. So now I'm gonna try, I just wanna see how it works. I'm not promising I'm keeping it. I'm gonna use the blur a little bit here. To kind of bring these colors together a little bit. esque type feel. And then it helps kind of get rid of some of the creases and then you can kind of see how your skin color is going and then you can adjust it if you like. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to adjust it and blend it a little bit here. So I'm going to go on the outer edge and very, very lightly, gonna blend these colors together.
just blend very, very gently with the airbrush. And I'm just color matching and then blending. And very, very gently. I can't be gentle enough. Very gentle when you're blending. Or otherwise you'll press hard and lose everything. And then I'm gonna go and do some fine details with the airbrush too, because I can really get into the creases the way I want to with the airbrush. Kind of put that color in there with the oil. Now I'm gonna accentuate it where I really want my shading. Think about creases. Creases usually go into the skin a bit, right? So when you deepen up a crease, it's gonna give the illusion of being deep into the skin. So I wanted to blend those colors that we use with the oil brush very good way to lay down color if you want a bunch of tones kind of overlapped and it gives you can leave it and just have the painterly look I'm gonna be adding a little bit more detail Keep on blending until I'm happy with how blended it is. Very, very gently with the airbrush tool. You don't want to lose all your colors you want to just blend you're not after losing it all you just want a nice blend I'm just trying to stay with the direction 
that his skin is. When I mean that the lines, staying with the lines, trying not to vary too much. So you can see it's starting to come together. I wanna, he does have moles and freckles, so I'm gonna try to give him a few of those. Different opacities, airbrush, and different brush size. I do have a picture open for reference. As, like I said, I do want to um, honor him as best as I can with a nice picture. highlighting around the eyes a little bit so they're not completely just shaded. using small lines to kind of add highlights and a little bit more detail around the eyes for trying to make his eyes look somewhat real. The more eclectic the freckles are, the more uh, real they'll look. Grab my blur for a second. Just gonna blur neck, ear. Now I have to do his lips. You know what? Let's try another free tool just for fun. Let's go use the marker. Let's try another free tool. I just want to show that um, that it can be painted beautifully without premium. So I'm, I am using some premium tools. This isn't a premium free video, but I just want to show that you don't need it for a lot of the stuff, for all of it. I'm just using it because there's certain techniques that I'm playing with. So I'm gonna layer this lip tone now with different opacity. I don't want his lips looking too dark. On the picture that I'm looking at, Actually, the lighter 
uh, in the middle, not so much up top where I just put that highlight. So, so far we've used the oil to start. I used blur. I used marker and airbrush. Just in case anybody's just tuning in now and curious. Now I'm going to go back to my airbrush. I'm just going to fix some of the shading. And I also have to get these eyebrows in as well. Too, too dark. It does appear to have lighter, a lighter brow. And then just add some strokes for the hair. Widening them up a little bit. Okay. Having another little bit of a close look at his picture there. So his hair is black with white. So let's go ahead. I'm going to take out the gray. I'm just going to not use a solid, solid black. I'm going to bring out the pencil. I'm going to put on automatic mode now. I'm just going to rub that pencil around. Pencil is just giving that a little bit of texture instead of just coloring it in. And then I'm going to grab the gray. It seems like, let me bring down this opacity. It seems like it's off to the side. And then he has it in front. He has almost patterned hair, which really neat looking. He's a little bit more on the side over here. But the back of his hair seems to be black. From what I can see from this picture. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm just going to add kind of swirly 
pencil strokes to give some detail to the hair. I've done this um, in another picture to kind of give texture and I really liked the way it turned out. So I kind of just shaded it. And I'm just going over it to add that texture I'm going to use a lighter color to leave even a little bit more but I'm not going to go overboard with it I'm just going to use it in certain areas so it looks like layered layered green white hair Use the white and bring down my my brush size. A I'm just doing squiggles every which way. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's the whole point. And I layered it with different colors of gray. And now I'm using the white finally. When you do things in layers, I find you get a much nicer effect. And if you want to blend it a little bit, go to the lighter gray, grab out our pencil again, we we're already on it, and then just kind of work in a little bit of a lighter gray around all that detail. You can go to your black and kind of go try and blend it a little bit as well. I would just blend the outer type edges though. I wouldn't go too far into your detail a little bit maybe, but not too far into it. Kind of just blending it out, making it look natural, trying to make it look natural. Want that natural transitional change. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Go back to my airbrush there for a second. I just want to make a little bit more detail on the ears.
everything down my opacity and just add a couple more fine forehead lines. And then I'm just going to kind of lighten this up. Now his eyes are brown, but I do want to have a little bit of detail in there. So I'm going to add a little bit of a lighter color. Then I'm going to grab white to add some highlights. Add some sparkle to the eye, if you will. Now I'm going to color his suit the way that I see it here as well. So he's wearing a black suit and he's wearing a blue shirt and a checkered tie. So let's do the black suit. Let's bring the oil back out just to show that you can do more than just what I did with it. You bring up the opacity. You can just color it in. Now with high opacity, it's going to be very dark. I got to keep in mind about my shirt. Turn down the opacity. No, too light. Just want a couple highlights in the suit a little bit, just so it's, it looks like it has somewhat of a, a sheen to it. Now I need to go grab a nice blue. Maybe this one will do. You can really see how the oil pushes around with bright colors. Just tie. Lighten it up. Too light. his eye a little bit more. I'm finding it's just a bit dark still. I just want to lighten it up a bit more and blend those highlights a little bit. Go 
go to freehand for a second. So we can use the, the half tone for the tie. I'm just going to go ahead and grab the pillow fill and let's just use that gray that we have there. It's kind of like a gray anyway. I don't know if that should be gray. No, it should be the back of the thing. Back of the shirt, I mean. See, the more you deepen it, the more it almost comes off like purple. So we'll leave it at the gray that it looked like. And then if you want to add some texture, some easy, quick texture to the tie, go to your halftone tool. And then you can do like a little bit of an off-white here. Just make sure I'm on automatic. So play with your size and then bring down your brush size. And you get like a really simple but easy design on a tie just like that and if you want to mix colors you can even mix colors so you go grab this raise, raise the brush size excuse me and then you get like a spotted bluey kind of tie and then if you want to give it a little bit more realism grab the cream or the white just adds a little bit of shine to, to the tie over here add some over here to the shirt And then go to blur. Well, I'm gonna go to blur. You don't have to. It looks good the way that it was. But I'm just gonna blur. I'm gonna blur this out a bit. Kind of get like that blended look, but go to airbrush and just fix there's the highlight. I need to go to freehand for a minute here that wasn't looking all the way through. Just want to take a little bit of this, this highlighting out. I just want it a little bit. I want it to look like a black suit. Just a little bit of shine. adjust as I go. Now for the background. I've been thinking about this. Got to make sure I'm on automatic mode. I actually really do like that teal. I just don't know if it's gonna look good in behind, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna play with a couple things. I'm not overcomplicating the background here. So, oh, it actually looks good. Picking this up a bit. It actually looks good just like that. It's gonna try like a no you know what I really like just the dark background on him 
I think it's very suiting. Maybe lighten it up just a tad, just so you could see around his face more. Grab the pencil tool here for a second. Just gonna blend this out a little bit more. I'm just gonna analyze my picture. Make sure I'm happy with everything. And the blending. No, that, uh, I mistakenly uh, picked this color and I actually really like it. So I'm gonna leave it. And I think the picture is good. I had a lot of fun coloring this. Just looking around, making sure that That's it guys, there's my Nelson Mandela. Maybe a little bit. I keep on just seeing slight things where I can add a little bit of improvement. That's the problem with me coloring because I could go back to this in an hour or two and add more details. So when I record, sometimes I finish early and I go back and I go, oh, I could have did this and I could have did that. But that's okay. I think it looks really good for what it is right now. And if I go back and add fine details later, so be it. Maybe just blur here. Maybe a little bit. Airbrush. Just a couple little last minute small touches here. Okay, I'm not gonna bore you with the small details. I think it looks very nice and I'm really happy to have colored this today with you guys. This is Nelson Mandela. This is Brienne from Pixite. Have a great day everybody and happy Black History Month. And if you're not sure and you wanna know more about his accomplishments, please Google search him as you can do with all uh, the lovely pictures in this Trailblazers book. Take care everybody, bye.